very smooth road, no potholes, nothing to really worry about. All right, we're making another turn. This is on to Pine Log Road. This is our last turn for a while. We'll be on this road for about six miles. Again, this can be a uh, fairly trafficy road, so be careful. spots on this road but uh, nothing very nothing real dangerous just keep your eyes open look for pavement patches nice little downhill but you got a little uphill right here but it's not long at all There you want to keep your eye on right along in here where they've done some repair work. There are a few little potholes that you'll uh, want to stay away from. They're too small to worry about in a car, but big enough to worry about on a bicycle. section up here. We're just going to go straight through it. I believe this is an intersection with uh, Storm Branch Road. We're all, Remember we're on Pine Log Road. We're going through Storm Branch. A store stop there on the right if you need it. I don't know if that'll be legal on race day, but if you're out riding the course at some other time, it's always good to know that's there. That's at 42 miles. Pedestrian is there, no shoulder. Road to the right is Beach Island, uh, Beach Island Express or Beach Island Avenue, rather. If you're out riding the course uh, at some point, uh, not on, not during the race, but if you need to get back to Augusta, that's a quick way back there. If you make a right, you'll come out. You'll be back at the river uh, within a couple of three or four miles, not far from the start. But during the bike race, you'll want to go straight here. We're at 42.8 miles. Headed south on Pine Log Road. A couple of rough spots on this road, you'll definitely want to keep your eyes out for them. You should have good uh, visibility since you will not be drafting. You're not going to be on somebody's wheel, so you're, but you're on your own for spotting these uh, potholes and cracks in the road. Church Road, that's also another quick way back to town. Uh, if you 
were to turn right there and follow it for uh, three or four miles, you'll eventually come back to uh, the road, main road leading into Augusta, back over the bridge. You'll also go by James Brown's old house, not, the, not his uh, house he was in when he died, uh, where he lived when he died, but one of his old, earlier homes. Have a little local traffic here. Hopefully, they'll be turning. And get a good look at the road as we slow down. It's got a lot of little thin hairline cracks, but for the most part, it's not too bad. Again, this can be a very hot section of road if it's the middle of the day and you don't have cloud cover, very little tree cover. sign and a flashing red light up ahead. You do want to make this stop if there's nobody here because this can be a very busy road. We're actually crossing Highway 278, also known as Williston Road. If you were to make a right, you'd go back toward Augusta. This is a very busy road. And I'm going to have to wait for a little traffic here. It's kind of a zigzag as you cross it. it uh, you'll make a kind of a left and a right zig and then a zag to stay on Pine Log Road. And there you go. This area was hit pretty heavily by uh, tornadoes uh, about, a year, about, two year, about a year and a half ago. Uh, so a lot of the heavier, bigger trees removed were cleared out. Uh, they were very fortunate. Not a lot of homes destroyed. Most of the damage has been covered back up with new growth, so it's hard to spot. But if you're used to riding through here, you'll definitely see the difference. We're at 45 and a half miles. Just past 47 miles, we'll be making another ride onto a four-lane highway that we crossed earlier, Atomic Road. give you a little advice. Coming up is a uh, little downhill, but it's followed by a very, very short but steep uphill. So as you uh, get close to that, if you have the clearance in front of you, meaning you're not going to get into a drafting situation, if you can build up some speed here and ride along here, hit this downhill as hard as you can to get you some speed to go up the other side. You can almost make it up the other side without really putting a lot of pedal power in it. Here again, it's a curve on the downhill, a very narrow two-lane road, bottoms out right here, so don't attempt to pass, if you pass someone if you can't make it, you don't want to get a penalty. And right here is a very steep uphill, curves to the right, and it's, it's probably 6 or 7 percent, but it's 120, 130 feet, and then it levels out right here. Still a little bit of a climb, 1 or 2 percent, as you approach the stop sign. And now we're at Atomic Road, also known as South Carolina 125. We're at four, just at 47 miles. 